Hi, it's Cindy from Cindy Loves Jewelry, and um, I'm having to start over because I bent my screen, so let me see if I can get it fixed just a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so I had only showed two pieces of jewelry, so no biggie. So these are a pair of earrings that are clip-ons that I bought at Salvation Army, and let's just throw them down. If they clip on, they have these little protective pads on them that slide up and down off of them so anyway I gave a dollar for them at the Salvation Army this little bird is a brooch and he's just adorable but something's broken off here the bottom part of his wing tail or something is broken and so there's no place for the pin to hook but he signed Dewberry and he's really cute and I was really upset that he was broken and I think I paid a dollar fifty for him. I'm not positive. And oh, okay. I forgot about putting that. Uh, this is a dragonfly pen. There's nothing spectacular about it. it was two fifty plus twenty five percent off. Um, it's a made in China kind of thing, but he's cute. I love dragonflies. And there's an owl here that is just like him. And uh, he was two fifty also, and twenty five percent off. And a little owl like that with the little pearly belly, and he was three dollars and twenty five percent off. This pendant is a um, it looks like citrine to me. It might be topaz. It's kind of dark. but uh, uh, And I had hoped it might be gold because it is non-magnetic, I believe. Yeah, it is non-magnetic. But it is not gold. I tested it. And it is really nice. I don't see any markings at all on it, but it is very pretty. So, uh, Oh, I paid 50 cents for that at a thrift store. This is a... Uh, an enamel brooch and it's still in the bag. I paid a dollar fifty for it. This is a brooch that came from the same place that did. Paid a dollar fifty for it and it is signed Sarah Cove. And this is another enamel brooch that I paid a dollar fifty for and it is very cool. And I just want to take it and see if I can get it out of the bag here. Because it is sorry, fingers itching. What does it mean when your fingers itch? Somebody's coming to see you. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, it don't want to come out of there. There we go. Anyway. It's really cool because I never... I mean, I've got all kinds of enamel brooch flowers. Because uh, I have this problem called hoarding. <laughs> Anyway, but I don't have one that the petals are bent up like that. See, that is neat. So, but there's no signature of any kind on the back of it. But, and it's maybe got a little bit of wear on the back, but not much. It's really pretty. So, okay, and that is all that I bought last weekend while I was out thrifting. So, I'm going to show you this lot that came today. There's nothing just major spectacular in it. There's some cute things, but nothing just awesome, awesome. But if you see any of this, because I am like super slow at getting things listed on eBay. If you see any of this, message me and we can work something out. So, um, a little bracelet that is stretchy that sets in a channel. Nothing spectacular. This right here is uh, <laughs> a little wild. Animal print. Uh, on a chain with a spring ring and it has open work in the back and this is fabric and I'm thinking that you could probably uh, let me just let's see I want to no that's metal I thought maybe that was the fabric back there that you could just drop on um, um, essential oils and it would be like a diffuser thing but it's not so it's just a little metal animal print 
this little necklace is really cute. I really like it. Um, it is by Sack. It's a Q Sack. Like, um, huh. and it's got two spring rings on it. That's weird. Anyway, it's made by Sack. It is black with a drop, and it looks, I thought it was missing rhinestones, but it, they actually are black rhinestones in it. So it's really pretty on a black chain. It's really nice. Um, nothing, you know, spectacular. Those are my favorite words today. Nothing spectacular, huh? So I'm going to. In this, this is an Avon piece, and uh, it was one of my favorite pieces in the slot. Um, it was, I mean, I didn't pay very much for this slot, I paid $23 plus $6.95 shipping and handling, so less than $30. I'll easily get my money back. So, anyway, uh, let's see if I can get that to show up. And Oriola Aurora Borealis AB Stone. And, uh, and it's rectangular, square, kind of. More square than rectangular, and it is Avon. And it is a spring ring, so it's probably a little older. Not, And I like this real well. And it did not have a signature on it, but I think, it, I think it's cute. I think it will sell. It's just a big rhinestone necklace so and I think this is really cool because I just like I like my one of, I mean I know that's crazy but one of my favorite colors is black and one of my favorite combinations is black and gray together and so I've managed to do a real number here so let's see what I can undo here oh, okay. and I'm going to have to it looks like I may have to uh, huh. I don't know somehow I've managed to get that chain caught up inside that bracelet and I don't there okay here is a black and gray beaded dangle bracelet there's no signature of any kind on it but it it's cute it's dingly dingly and, uh, and this little necklace that was caught up in it is just a little uh, gold tone necklace that says mom. A heart that says mom. Mom. So. This is just a design like that no markings at all on it and uh, the chain doesn't even have a uh, clasp it just is long enough to go over your head so these right here are I believe they're just plastic beads they are not heavy enough to be glass and the fastener is marked the little little loopy part has Japan on it it says Japan right back there and they're just little black beads and those there have an Orealis an AB sheen to them uh, Aurora Borealis sheen to them Okay, this is just a stretchy bracelet, and it's not even a nice stretchy bracelet. But this right here, this piece right here is why I bought this lot, because the way this piece was laying, all I could see was like one of these 
from here down. And it reminded me of a style of jewelry that I'm looking for. And so I bid on this lot. Well, I actually made an offer on that lot and the lady accepted it. I've bought from this lady before, so I knew that her lots were worth the money. So, um, anyway, but uh, um, that's cute little enamel geometric design. It's very nice. It has no signature, no writing on any of it. So, it's very nice. If you hear TV in the background, my husband's in there watching Gunsmoke. He watches it every night at this time, which is between 10 and 11. Uh, my time in Arkansas. So, anyway, a little uh, bunny rabbit. My friend Darlene. You see that bunny rabbit? Isn't he cute? And on the back, his little thing has a little out face. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, this one here says, oh, what did it say? Oh, icing, and it's just a. Uh, uh, little silver disc this one is just a stretchy little bracelet with these little rhinestone barrels very cute this one here is uh, signed NRT and it's a little black bead hanging down inside these circles with a little silver tone necklace this is a little clamper style bracelet and it has absolutely no writing at all in it well, something sticky in it like a sticker was on it so it's probably pretty new but it's nice with little gold accents on it uh, I thought this was cool it is stamped metal. It has a little bird scene, little bird and flowers. It's cute. It has no kind of signature. This is a really big, heavy, long gold chain that has no fastener except for it has this right here, this little loop right here that's different. And it almost looks like a belt instead of a necklace, but it's a big long chain. Uh, and this is a, a velvet choker with pink rhinestones and there are no missing rhinestones and it is signed Advantage Paris so these little earrings are signed Avon on the on the on the thing on the back so and pair a uh, pair of clip on shell style earrings a pair of silver shell looking earrings that have um, pierced those other were clips. Uh, and uh, these are just little enamel wire hoops. This is a little silver necklace that is a, a bow and an arrow and it really looks silver but it there's nothing on it that says silver and I'm trying to remember if it was magnetic no it's not magnetic so I don't know I may have to test it so these are little rhinestone heart earrings and there is a pair of them and a little pair of gold tone half hoop earrings and a sweater clip and these also are signed japan they say japan on them and it's a little box clasp with a little bitty 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 neck uh, and these are glass 
these are glass. You can tell they're glass. And um, then a broken necklace. And it's black beads and they're old. And then there were some uh, little rings and a pair of froggy earrings. And the froggy earrings are real cute. The little rings are just adjustable rings. And uh, I gave a few pair of them away. See the little froggies? Aren't they cute? And then little adjustable rings. And I saved what I thought was the best for last. And uh, it's a kitty cat brooch. And it's really cute. It's a little collar, just the outline of a kitty cat. No signature that I can really see. I don't see anything that looks like a signature. So, anyway, so that is what I have. And that is my haul. It's 15 minutes at the 15 minute mark. So, um, I went through that quick, but I just want to share that with y'all and uh, just share my finds. So, um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm looking. I hate just looking down, but I'm just looking around to make sure that I didn't forget something that I wanted to share with y'all. And all the other jewelry that's laying here is my jewelry that I take off when I come and sit down. So, anyway, thanks for being with me. Uh, happy picking and happy collecting and happy hoarding because we all have those tendencies. So, you guys have a great one and uh, stay safe. Peace, friends.